Uh, this will be the last lesson of the week. This will be lesson 8-5, and it is still fraction times fraction, or a fraction multiplied by a fraction, so it's pretty easy. I'm actually going to show you um, towards the end, in the last two questions, I'll show you a, a little simplifying shortcut. And if you know your division facts, you know your multiplication facts, um, this might be really helpful for you. All right. Um, so let's start off like we have been. The first one, let's do 9 tenths times 1 half, and it's still... Numerator times numerator, or top times top. 9 times 1 is 9. 10 times 2 is 20. 9, 20, it cannot be simplified. So that is your final answer. Simple, no problem. Okay, let's try another. Let's try 5, 6 times 1 third. Again, numerator times numerator. 5 times 1 is 5. Denominator times denominator. 6 times 3 is 18. 5 is a prime number. So this is your final answer in simplest form. So that's really nothing new so far. A couple um, shout-outs. Shout-out to Alejandro. Alejandro's been doing all his work. Shout-out to Benjamin Levitsky. Levitsky! Uh, let's try... Four sevenths times seven ninths. Um, okay, so this is the first one where we could actually do something called cross simplification Cro or cross simplify. Okay, remember, you can still solve it the way you want top times top, bottom times bottom, but there's a way that we can actually look at the two numbers, the sevens, they have something in common. If we do, their greatest common factor is seven. So if we do seven divided by seven, we get one. And seven divided by seven, we get one. Now it's four times one, which is four. And one times nine, which is nine. It gives us the shortcut. If you did it the other way, you would have gotten 28 over 63. And then you've had to simplify. And if you simplify 28 60 thirds, you get four ninths. Now, this is okay. Okay. But this is for those of you that are looking for a challenge. Doing the cross simplifying, it will help you. Okay. Now, I'll do that a couple more times so you guys can kind of see um, how that works. So, those, uh, those of us who are really comfortable with our math facts and you want to give it a shot, feel free. It'll, it'll make your life a lot easier. Let's try three-fourths times four fifths. Now, right away, you would notice, oh, look, I have a four and I have a four. I can cross simplify. The greatest common factor of four and four is four. So four divided by four is one. Four divided by four is one. Now I can do numerator times numerator. Three times one is three. Denominator times denominator is five. There's my final answer. If you didn't simplify, if you would have done 3 times 4, you would have gotten 12. If you did 4 times 5, you would have gotten 20. That's an okay answer. This is the best answer. I hope that makes sense. Some kids really like the cross simplifying. Um, some do not. Obviously, replay the video as much as you want. They're on my YouTube channel as well. Um, so you can kind of look at it and see what I did. These are pretty basic ones. Now, this one will be the most challenging one we did so far if you do the cross simplifying. Two thirds times seven eighths. Now, in the previous problems, you could just, they were the same number. It was a four and a four and a seven and a seven. But here, I noticed the cross, I can't, I can't, there is a common factor between two and eight. The greatest common factor of two and eight is two. So I could do two divided by two and I can get one. And I could do eight divided by two and I could get four. Now, if I do one times seven, I get seven. And three times four, I get 12. That's the simplified final answer. If you didn't simplify, you would have done 2 times 7 and gotten 14, and 3 times 8 and gotten 24. That's an okay answer, but this is the best answer. Okay, so give it a shot um, today. See if you can do the cross simplifying, uh, and let us know how it goes. Oops, sorry.